haven't really looked at it. All your stuff for it. Cable for your handbrake. And a little diagram of how everything should go together. We've already found, being a cheap kit, we're missing a couple of nuts and bolts. So we'll just go down and get some high tensile stuff. Have to put anti seize on everything because grease your nut yeah, grease everything, make sure they actually work as they should, and yeah, see how long this cheap kit lasts. We've welded on the brake. Oh, new... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking worst. <laughs> we welded on the brake back and plates and gave it a paint with some cold gal. Might help it last a little bit longer than sort of 10 minutes on a dirt road. But they're on. They worked. They were shitty. New blade for the saw. Oh, I, don't know. Know. I don't know. Where's the lights? Oh, look at that dimpling. I didn't actually get a video of the kitchen when we got it. Picked up a little kitchen during the week. Paid 250 Came with a sink, it's got some plumbing inside, little gas cooktop. It, uh, it's not too bad. Two little burners, electric start, buttons and all that. It does have a glass top, but it'll be right. So we're going to fit fit our uh, brake drum hub wheels on just to double check our inside measurement between the tyres just so we don't mess anything up. It's only a dry assembly so we're not packing any grease. Grab that wire. Get that wire out of there. Yep. So we've already pre-welded these earlier. You can get them pre-welded but if you can't weld you shouldn't be doing your own trailer. Too, too aggressive? No, it's too good. Yeah. So, because it's only a dry fit, I'm only putting two nuts on the back. Ah, I might as well put four, saves us losing them. Yeah, and everything's only just nipped. So we got two parallel bearings in there. They are getting replaced with some better quality ones. These are just what came with the kit. So, two bearings, slide on the shaft, put your washer on, put your nut on. There is caps that go over here, but again, dry assembly, not happening. There's also a back seal. Oh yeah, and the seal. So I'll get this on. That's that on. Wire. Handbrake down the bottom. So that's that. Oh, here we go. If I grab this side, you grab that side. It should be. Oh, so it should sit on the stud. Yep. Just brace the bottom with my boot. Should be good enough to get our measurement. Let's get everything else on it Explain so we don't lose anything. Hey? Explain what measurement we're getting. Oh yeah. Alright. So the measurement we're chasing is from the inside of this tyre to the inside of that tyre. So we can just make sure we've got plenty of room for our, pretty much to get our measurement of these cross braces. We want our frame to be close enough to the wheels that it's not going to hit, but not going to be too far. So... The closer it is, the less strain there will be on the stub axle. Like if you had your frame back here, you've got all this that can bend. If it's nice and close, sort of about here, there's only, you know, a little bit that could flex up if you jumped it and or something else. So we've got 1320. 1320 is our measurement. So we've got 15 mm side, so be nice and close to the frame. So, should be nice and close, shouldn't really 
Oh, actually, I didn't tighten up. Actually, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the brakes, not brake pad not being tight because the bearings are tight. Yeah, it's the wrong size spanner too. I might have. Yeah, it's working. Okay, more cutting. That's the bike you're talking about. Yeah. That's gonna go online now. We're bad to see that. It's gonna be like, that's my welder, boy. Look at glass. Oh, you haven't seen the videos, haven't you? Yeah, I haven't seen them in the other. So, how much did you pay for this? Which? Uh, 1400 bucks. Not bad. Yeah. It like was... they make it themselves or they fucking. Nah, it's a Chinese import. Yeah. But we got, um. Yeah, we went down there. They had probably 50 or 60 of them. And I got 100 bucks off just because of the deal I had on. Basically. Yeah, yeah. At least it wasn't me. So. Yeah, we picked it up. And then I immediately listed it for 2100 bucks. Oh, really? <laughs> Within the first like, 20 minutes, I had a guy like, What's your lowest price? Where are you located? My lowest price is 2100. Where'd you get the Domino's thing? Um, Bryce and Warwick equals fags. Yeah, really? <laughs> 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 Fucking muppets. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why is that? You need to zoom Man, out. What are you doing? I'm trying! Just pull your hand back, is the zoom! <laughs> also, go higher. What the fuck are you doing? Hold up. Oh, that was a quite. That was a nice looking one. Why did you just clean up their poop like a day ago? They're just like competition. You did not. There's at least 30 shits out <laughs> there. Yeah, I'm Yeah. Just need to get right up in there. You got the dark side of the moon on that one. Yep. Um, we need to measure back from the outside 1500. Don't you want to square this box first? Do the whole exterior. Can we square it off? Fine, I was just. Yeah. Would be smart. Yeah, I've never sold on that thing. I was gonna zoom in on his ass. Holy shit. When he welds like that? Was the first feature you asked for was the zoom? Well, his ass crack comes right out when he fucking welds like that. I think he kind of knows too. <laughs> like, I think he fucking left, like, fucking home this morning going, yeah, I might give the boys a treat. Yeah, I don't need a belt. I'll wear the low jeans. What out? That center bit? Outside? Yep. Yeah. Which side are you going? Would you change sides? I'll go this side. You're going. I want diagonals. Put your seal down. Put your seal down. Damn it, Ben. You're wearing pants that conceal your ass. Alright, you good? Yep. Yeah. That's sunny, alright. Right, 39.45. I normally make this like 12.20. Yeah, that's not straight. Was it 45, 46? Yeah, one mil. One mil, yeah. Just don't shoot yourself. Super oh, that went well. So the opposite way to this, eh? Yeah, <laughs> let's turn around this way. Alright, let's go. There is no fucking leg. Turn around, let's go clockwise. 
Because we're a bitch. A bitch? We're both trying to go in two different directions. I have to step over a thing. Uh, what's your fingers? Trailer, done. I locked it for the one with the spare wheel carrier. Yeah. That not fit. Hangs well, for what we're doing now, so... We could lift the frame up, put some stands on it. Brilliant artwork. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at it. Beautiful. You must have really tiny balls, man. She yeah. always draws <laughs> tiny hands. No, I don't know why I make them little. I, I honestly don't. It just... It's just how it goes. Oh. Is that the dogs or what? They're only tiny when I'm I think I'm they're aroused. just mucking around. <laughs> oh. So this should slide back in line. About there. And then sit about there. Do you reckon we even need to brace that corner? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Yeah. I reckon it breaks inside. Yeah. But we're gonna have to pop this off for the world, aren't we? Yeah, the whole thing's gonna have to come off again. So this and this. We yeah. get measurements so that's that's where right now the halfway point is. Because you can't have your axle too far. Forward? Like loading space. Yeah, so it's from this end yeah. to the back of the truck. What's the weight between, like, what's the headboard at and this? How much it weigh, right? How much does this weigh and how much does the headboard weigh? Well, two of us looked at that, so it can't be over 150 kilos. Yeah. So two of us could lift that, just for probably about a 200. Yeah. It's a heavy fucking trailer. I kind of want to look at it from the side. So we're probably at 500 for it. Nah, I don't think it's actually, uh, yeah. I wanted to go five more, but. Alright, we're doing the initial welding. So I flipped that the wrong way. Good job. <laughs> Spot off. Just 
just want to check and remove all my greasable shackles and everything, make sure the tips aren't going to wheel, wheel away, they shouldn't be. And then, uh, yeah, assemble that. Once I've checked it, disassemble, weld it out. And then I'm going to make up some brackets to put the tray on. We do still have to put a bit of tube out here to support, support the edge of the canopy, as well as up under here. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to lift the canopy up and put a drawer or something underneath it, but for now I can do the frame, I can mount the tray, do all that, and then just figure the canopy out after. Alright, so I'm just about to assemble the little hanger set up here. So you got a little spacer plate to space your axle up above the bolt that holds the pack together. Your axle sits on top. And you got two, two U-bolts go over the top. So they sit down but over your axle. And they go through this little plate here. Which that little hole sits over the bolt. And then you just nuts underneath and tighten it all together. And you just set your left rights. Equal. Name. Of course I'm using the correct name. Left, right, and fish plates. I didn't say fish plates, not a fish plate, a fish plate's a joining plate. Not fish plate. Is it? No, not that, the one in between. I, used, I think I called that a sandwich plate, because yeah. it sounded delicious. Yeah, fish sandwich plate. Look at you, you're all dressed fancy. Look. I'm, I'm camera ready now. Is that? I think the same shoes you've been yes. working in? Yes. Look at you, look at your hair, oh look, that, that's going in. Rolling handheld, no gimbal. I cut a bit of 50 by 6 flat because what we add just to cap off the ends. Uh, only on the back, I haven't done the front yet because I don't want it to protrude out. Protrude out past. Because I've welded, I welded the box flush together. So I might just cut a bit that sits inside and then I'll just weld that so it's nice and smooth. Could do it a different way next time, but just one of those things, trying to get it done, not thinking. Alright, so I cut off hangers, set them in so we got a good gap there now. I still got to flip the pins, but we can do that later. Uh, we lifted this tray on super quick uh, early this morning. We've marked our brackets, I've just got this, these front two tacked, and then a second two tacked, and then we'll put the tray back on and then lift the others up to where it sits on them just to make sure we don't have any sort of discrepancy whether the brackets are slightly twisted or some are shorter than others it gets even distributed weight and there can't be any gap to put extra strain on any of the brackets so I've, this, is, this is what we've got here, we've raised it 30 mil so I've just given these a quick zap and then realised I haven't videoed anything so it's welded a bit black there just because of the paint on the other welds, but that's alright, we'll just clean it up, paint over it again. So we'll drill, I'll weld those front two out, I'll drill the holes in the front two, then lift it on, make sure we're all square, even heights and all that stuff, and then I'll drill these back two, bolt those down, tighten them all up, and then I'll get underneath it with the welder, and then lift the bracket up till it touches on the tray bracket, and then I'll clamp it, tack it, both sides on all four, there's another two back here somewhere. And then pull the tray off. Actually I probably don't need to pull the tray off, I'll mark, mark the holes in the top, then pull the tray off, weld them, drill them, put it back on. And then we'll sort out the canopy because we're going to raise that up about 230 mil. so the bottom of the canopy sits nice and level with the bottom of here, gives us plenty of clearance. And I'll try to um, try to link in 
all our measurements at the bottom of the video so I'll find some way to do that if not just send me a message and I'll just send them all through for what we've done and what we used. Back one's tacked in, this one's welded, they're tacked in, front one's welded. So I'm going to mark these holes in the top here, and to do so, I'm going to do, that's stuck in there, it doesn't matter, I'm going on the outside anyway. I'm going to use a little trick, where's the silver paint? Come over here, silver's up, that will do. So, just zinc, doesn't really matter what it is. All I'm going to do, give it a good shake, give it a spray, and then we're just going to lightly dust the slot. That way, put this one, just a light dust coating marks where the slot is. You can just use that as a template for where you need to drill. What's this one? Like this. Right in here on this one, so you can see it hopefully. Look, wrong way, wrong way. Alright, then just a quick little dust on the side so it's all full. And there it is. Little slot. So it should be dry by the time we pull it off and then drill them. Hang on, things have happened. I'm videoing. Just lightly tacked in the frame under the canopy to get our heights. We look pretty schmicko there. Got the tray, the brackets are in, I still haven't drilled them. Headboard's twisted, but... Got room underneath for a couple of drawer storages or something. The room up top, put the tent. Stand up under that door. Oh, hey, you're sweet. Bad and I'm a short prick, so it's going to be perfect. Be yeah. That's not a bad height, eh? No, that's perfect. That still gives you slide yeah. out What's for free match and yeah. for... Even okay. if you wanted to drop down, but... You wouldn't need a drop down. No, it's... Where's the tape? How, how high are we off the ground? Because that's... That frame's pretty well flat. Is that 920? 920 to lip. 915. 9 to the lip, so you'd go 920 plus your whatever slide, that's pretty good. Then we've got head height. 1830. Ah, oh, you wouldn't want to be huge, but... Yeah. And that's if you're parked on flat ground. Just dig a hole. Yeah, you dig a trench. Now you're finished, put them on. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Hey? You made me hurt myself by putting safeties on. Oh, you mean safety glasses aren't safe anymore? Oh, fuck! I nearly tripped over the jockey wheel. That's not quite bumping on properly. Oh, you had one fucking job. Just hit it with a hammer, it'll be right. Yeah, I'll go in, don't worry. Trying to get pregnant. <laughs> so we're just doing the frame for the canopy. 
We've had the canopy on for Kind of you. to grab a spanner to hit it. And Mine I d fits perfect. Fits so good, it doesn't need to be welded. What's the hammer for? Uh, you should get a smaller hammer. You should get a smaller hammer. That one's just embarrassing. What are you compensating for? The correct <laughs> length is what you're compensating the for. The correct length? Shut up, you know what I mean. The fuck the you know what I'm about. Explain why. <laughs> I think it'll intrude on the canopy too much. We'd have to grind them off anyway. We can grind them off, but at least then it seals it. Yeah, but we're also leaving the bottom open, so if it yeah, does anything, it gets in there. That if we're going to weld the top, we've got to weld the bottoms. Yeah, I'll do both. Okay. Come on, I'll do it Brackets, all drilled. Fucking Picasso is doing a job. Oh, there's still lots of swarf under that one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can paint over swarf, don't worry, I got this. There we go. Paint that bracket, all drilled. Front deck support for the canopies, all welded and painted. Just gonna do a coupling ha uh, hitch plate. Hitch plate? Coupling plate. And then bolt. Tray on, or should we do? We should do those plates to bolt the canopy down. Yeah, the triangle plates. Alright, I'll cut four of them out of something. We have some pretty thick plates here somewhere. Doesn't need to be thick, there's not going to be much load on it, it's going to be no, in the corners. The yeah. Alright, well, I'll cut six, or just the four. One, two, three, four. I reckon six. I can do a diagonal in the middle one. So, so do this side of this in, and then here, that side of that. And then there. Huh? And one on each corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. And one there. Yeah, and yeah, that's what one. I just did. Yeah. That's what I just did. Come now on. we've we've both fingered it. It should be happy. And, yeah, well, let's get the double fingering. Unless the video is hungry, then it's angry. Now it's one happy PG. Was it ever? Because it's got a finger in. Well, there was something else. We were going to use the Asian genital blurring software. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what that was for. Yeah. You can. I can zoom as I go. Wop, wop. Okay, I forget. Uh, um, Everyone's getting crutch shots. I still haven't found safety glasses. Not there. No. Also, no. Where's yeah. the new one? That is the new one. They're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked, Kent. 
You put them there. No, I didn't. I don't wear the blue ones. I wear these ones that are not lens down. See that? See that? So you put the blue ones lens down? I got these from work. They are quite greasy though. I should shave my head. Get a small stick on. Gotta stomp some cut. Uh, where's the driver? Over that side. Uh -oh. Where's that bit of steel gone? That is. Okay. So what's happened here? Gonna I know, I'm gonna fucking angle Pull it. Stick down I know what I'm doing! Yeah, you can see the gimbal. You can see the gimbal the whole time anyway. Uh, so we put put it fast. This is art, and then they go in the corners. Doing, looking at the crutch. Dick height. It doesn't turn me on that. What have you done? What? I was looking at things. Let's tell me how to camera. I'll tell you the camera. How do? You, oh, hello. What have you done? Congratulations on making that video unusable. <laughs> I thought you said you did all that as you're going. I did, I just didn't cut all the way through because I didn't want to hack into the next piece. That was a weird way to so, do it. I found another guy who puts a rag in his engine bay. Yeah, another fuckwit. Just because there's two of you doesn't mean you're right. Well, it's from both own patrols. I think it's a patrol thing. I can find two people that smear shit on themselves. Does that mean that's the way to do it? Only two. <laughs> two in this shed. Oh, damn. We spend a lot of different time on the internet. What yeah. happened here? Yeah, don't ask questions. Was your finger in there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bench grinder. Is that the bench that, grinder? Yeah. You deserve to lose the finger. Being a moron. Alright, I need. Oh, yeah, welding. Alright. And uh, Doesn't exactly focus well, but. Focuses on all the shit on the screen. Well, I'm not going to change it. Good enough. What I'll do is I'll just get another glass screen and use that to. I could put this as Miller Vision. What'd you do there? Did you miss a bit? No, it's not caught. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. What? Ah.
Good job, buddy. All right, hitch is welded. We're gonna drill through there so we pick up the actual drawbar and do some of that jockey wheel because it's yeah. Right. Bolted down the tray, bolting it down. We got some 10 mil uh, medium density foam, 75 mil thick, but we can just trim it back with a blade. We're going to come in about sort of 10 ish mil on the edge so you don't really see it, but it cushions the canopy. So we've got a full strip on the front, full strip down the back, and then chunks sort of in the about that big. Every crossbar in the middle gets one. So it just stops the um, alley from chafing. Alright, Warwick's being an idiot. Wants to drive a quad up on a thing. So, this could be funny. Almost the perfect length. That's what she said. She really didn't. Dog. What do you. It slid really well because of the You don't need a run up. Back to centralize Just gonna kick that steel out. I thought you measured this. No. Wasn't the whole point you bought this tray because the headboard was high enough? No. I just bought it because I didn't have to pick it up. Got a hook up from Scotty with some guards. They're all welded. Laser cut welded. Good to go. We've had a few thoughts on this sort of build. And rather than keep it as a toy hauler, because we've had some design changes that I would like, we're going to sell this one. We'll finish this off with a different tray, get it all buttoned up so it's all good, safe, legit. Uh, and then sell it, build another one that's slightly different, which would suit my needs a little better. So, we've been a bit busy after we got the guards. Got another two trays, there's one here. And there's another one out the front, because we're going to do just a small single trailer as well. Got some cheap blue painted steel for a cheap trailer. Oh, rolling the wrong way, and we've got some old stock steel up on the roof. We'll give that a scuff up and it'll all be good. There's that stuff. And then two lengths there, 75 by 50. Come on, scroll up. And yeah, got those. Put the helmet home. Got our little clearance lights, got 10 of them. Just red, red and orange, so we got red towards the back, orange towards the front. 
So, well, there's a bit of 75 there, might be able to use that for a drawbar if it's long enough. But the two trays we got, one's 2500 long and the other is 27, so we're going to put the 2700 on here, which will give us a bit more load space for putting stuff on the back. There's already a good amount of room for two quads, but we'll give it a bit more. Uh, we'll just adjust the brackets on the underside of the tray so they line up with our brackets on here. Actually, it might actually come close to lining up. We'll get that sorted anyway. Pull this off, sit it in the corner or to the side somewhere and rebuild again.